I'm Grabisoft. In this video I bring you Mortal Kombat Trilogy for you to enjoy. Go to grabisoftnet.com to download the package. I will now show you how to execute the game. First, remember to configure your controls. And please don't change the name of the folder, or else you will lose background music. If you do, then you will have to modify the configs. Now for a little demonstration, enjoy. Jump exiting narrator. Guys, this is gonna be the second part of this video. Uh, if you wanna watch it, just watch it. If you don't, just close the video. Uh, it doesn't matter. But I just wanted to make my point on what all this Model Combat 11 scandal and drama, and what's my opinion about it. So if you don't care about my opinion, then you're cool. Uh, just go and close the video. But if you want, just sit back, relax, and just hear my opinion. So uh, Model Combat 11. Um, it's a great game in terms of graphics, in terms of gameplay. It's a very enjoyable game, it's very advanced, it uses a, a very uh, high detail engine, apparently, with a very high quality textures and light effects, and you know, the environments look better than ever if, if you compare it to Mortal Kombat X. In my opinion, Mortal Kombat X characters were more, um, I mean, they were more worked, I mean, they, they had better details in terms of uh, design. Obviously, characters look better in Mortal Kombat 11, but I don't like the designs of Mortal Kombat 11 compared to Mortal Kombat 10, but that's my personal opinion. So basically, the game itself, it, it plays very well. But the problem about this game, um, as you may know by now, is that it's a game full of trashy uh, tactics. So first off, I'm going to talk about DLCs. 
DLCs, as you may know, it's something that uh, you buy or you get after the game is finished, after the game is distributed. So once you get the game, you obviously have the option, depending on the developer, to get extra content free, which is rare, or a paid content. I mean, DLCs has been in, in the video game business since like 2004. Uh, first, I think the first company that made uh, the use of DLCs was Microsoft with Match Assault for the original Xbox. So that was one of the first DLCs. But I don't really like having DLCs to be paid for. So I, I, I personally think that when you buy a game for $60, you'll, you're entitled to receive all the uh, future updates for free. That's my idea. That's that's what I think. So um, obviously, Mortal Kombat is not stranger for this. And um, you know, once you buy the game, you have a lot of characters that are still locked. I mean, I'm okay. I, I mean, I don't agree, but I'm okay having a DLC that was not originally created once the game was launched, and then the developers made extra content. But I'm super, super against. The political tactics that NetherRealm Studio use that is like you buy the game and in order to unlock characters that are already inside the game you have to buy like five dollars each character that's completely insane because the characters are already in, inside the, the game files you know the original if you have the disc inside the game disc or if you have the steam version they are already inside your your game data folder so that's insane charging you for content that are, it's already inside the game is crazy then there are you know uh, Mortal Kombat the most modern Mortal Kombat versions from Dead Alliance, Deception, Armageddon you know so on they uh, feature that, um, you know, this level that is called the Crypt, where you have to, uh, to unlock stuff that you get from uh, virtual currencies that you earn by playing the game. But this time around, this, um, this crappy Crypt has a lot of loot boxes that has uh, randomized content. So it, does, it, so it means that even though you can know the location of that loot box, if you open it, you can have whatever item, uh, you, you just depend on luck. And that's poor bullshit. Another thing about uh, I want to talk about is obviously the vast, vast, vast amount of microtransactions that just pollute this game. It's completely insane. Some people just made the math and calculated how much money you would need in order to get all this uh, little extra content uh, utilizing the microtransactions and they reached the number of fucking six thousand dollars approximately if you that you will have to spend in order to get all the content of Mortal Kombat 11 up to date so that's insane having to spend like six thousand dollars to get all those contents it's just it's just ridiculous I also completely hate the fact that uh, the game uses virtual currencies like a mobile phone, you know, instead of uh, the things are in dollars, no, they, they are like in crystals, you know, the, the virtual cr currency of the game is crystals, and if you want to buy more stuff, you'll have to get more crystals. So that's, that's just stupid as well. And as you can see here in this gameplay, we are a scorpion and we're fighting against Scarlet. And as you can see, Another big issue about this game is the tone down of the sexualized characters. The majority of, of male characters in the game, Mortal Kombat, they are almost naked. You know, Shao Kahn, Kano, um, Jax, they're, they're look like showing their pecs, showing their tubes, showing their six packs. They are huge guys, like two meters, two meters in height. But the females, on the other hand, are completely covered. They their breasts have been toned down, they're very small, they are. They lost their sexy appeal, and also they, are, they all look very angry, and they look like very upset, they grumpy, it's like uh, feminazis, and you know, the overall left ideology of nowadays, stupid uh, leftists, have, uh, you know, polluted the overall game, and the overall developers of the Mortal Kombat games. So you can see she rather looks like a muslim woman uh, rather than a, a, a proper Mortal Kombat character. Uh, so that's ridiculous. Um, you know, in the early 90s when Mortal Kombat started, uh, you know, its franchise, the uh, Mortal Kombat was all about breaking taboos, 
uh, being, uh, you know, not politically correct, just give him a fuck about what people th thought about it, and just, they, they went along with that, and it was a, a super success, but nowadays, I think that uh, developers of this game just fell into the trap of, you know, feminists and politically correctness, and they just basically lost the original spirit of Mortal Kombat. Uh, I mean, the blood is still here, the gore is still here, the fatalities are still here, but a lot of stuff, such as the females and the microtransactions and all that shit, is like, they are turning into the dark side, if you know what I mean. So, that's terrible. Also, another thing I, I'm gonna mention about this game, another negative thing, is that the PC version has terrible support. The, the, it's just things, I mean, I feel that they don't care about the PC version at all, because the, at least at launch, the game, the PC version of the game, if you bought the game from Steam, had terrible, terrible performance, uh, the overall backgrounds, they looked very blurry, the sound was like working very low, I don't know why, you have to turn out the volume all the way up in order to hear something, and, uh, you know, it ex I personally experienced a lot of crashes, I was playing mid-game, and the game just turn off and you have to restart the game it's just it was just a mess it was super shitty and to top all this this to just to finish my my opinion um ed boom recently published in his twitter that this six thousand dollar worth of microtransaction was complete bullshit okay dude it's not bullshit it's real it's the amount of money you actually need to unlock all this shit so I think the developers feel kind of grumpy and can, they kind of uh, angry because their game is not doing very well. Just because in a couple of days after the launch, the game has to go down like $10. And originally it was like $60 and now it's like 40 something. So that's a sign that they're not doing very well. Even though the game is obviously in the bandwagon, everybody's talking about this game. It's like a trending topic. But... Once the trending topic goes out and people stop caring about this game, uh, I, you know, all the trending just like vanishes, I think this, this game is going to be one of the worst Mortal Kombat for performances in a long time. So, uh, yeah, that, that was basically my opinion on Mortal Kombat 11 and the latest uh, policies that the developers are taking with this game. Um, uh, you know, just to finish up talking about this game, we're gonna talk about the same th phenomenon, but with other games. So, we're gonna talk about Lara Croft. You know, Tom Ryder, this is the original Lara Croft, and this is the, nowadays, the, you know, the, the Lara Croft there is um, in the latest trilogy. So, as you can see, the first Tom Ryder, I, I really prefer the first Tom Ryder. I know, may, may, some people may say that she looks more of a, a stripper than a Tom Ryder. But I think she's, uh, it's her personality, dude, it's, it's, it's how she was created. I mean, her huge breasts, her wasp uh, weight, uh, her uh, tall, you know, her huge lips, it's all her characteristics, her, her uh, you know, her guns here, um, her ponytail, this is Lara Croft, if you, if you see this figure, you will identify her immediately, you're gonna, you wanna know that who, who she is, she's actually Lara Croft, she's like influential, she, she looks powerful, she's influential in, um, in a positive way inside the game franchise she represents. On the other hand, if you just compare it with the modern, uh, you know, Lara Croft, you can see that she's an average girl, nothing special, I mean, she's kind of pretty, but she's just a normal girl, and she's, she doesn't look very powerful or, or very iconic, uh, to be one a legendary Tom Raider, you know what I mean? She's just just normal girl, uh, with lacking a lot, of, you know, lacking personality because I, she doesn't transmit me any any sense of of, of you know adventurous spirit or, or something like that. So um, that's one another example. Not only Mortal Kombat is suffering from this phenomenon, but all other franchises are uh, you know falling inside the same dark side. Uh, finally, for our last, uh, you know, example, I'm going to talk about uh, Claire Redfield. So, in Resident Evil games, uh, Claire Redfield is one of the main protagonists, along with Leon, Chris Redfield, you know, all the stuff. Um, in the first uh, Resident Evil 2 game, you know, the original game, she was a hot red chick, uh, redhead chick, um, 
very sexy and then in Code Veronica as well and then you know in the later games she was pretty much the same character but nowadays with the release of Resident Evil 2 Remake I think it was a, an amazing game don't get me wrong but the overall model of her was very lockbuster for me I mean she's still if you if you look at the modern model of her she's still pretty but she's not the top model the the super top model that she used to be you know she used to be look more like Melania Trump or something she looks super hot but in this in modern game she looks like an average girl also and I don't like that shit I, I mean you're playing video games and you're supposed to play uh, in a fantasy world or in a, in, a, in a reality that it doesn't exist so why not playing with these kind of girls instead of these average girls. If you want to see these average girls, you have normal life. Normal life has is full of these type of girls. What, what, what you would like to play like this? You want to play like this, or, or at least it's my opinion. So this is another phenomenon from another different company, Capcom, which also uh, fell into the aesthetic movement of, of women. So I hope you like this video and see you next time. Bye.